Hi everybody and welcome back to another video on the channel. Uh, if you are new to the channel and you like what you see, please do consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell which will let you know when we do upload or we go live. Uh, thank you very much in advance for that. Now onto the video. Um, I was going to do a video today about Darren Eels, uh, the new CEO, and I will speak about him a bit later on in the video. Uh, but Eddie Howe has uh, been interviewed yesterday and come out with some very, very interesting comments. Um, namely Jamal Lascelles, who will be staying on as captain next season. Now, a lot of us, including me, thought that Jamal Lascelles might be moving on. It might be time for him to, to head off to Pastures New, possibly even back to Nottingham Forest. Uh, but it seems, uh, according to Eddie Howe, he's, he's definitely in his plans for next season and he wants him to play a big part. Uh, I don't quite understand where Eddie's coming from with this because, for me, a change this this summer would have been a perfect time to make it. We've got some real leaders in that team now. You look at uh, Kieran Trippier, you look at Callum Wilson, you know, much, much better leaders and footballers than uh, than our captain Jamal Lascelles at the moment. Now, Eddie Howe has said that he's a big part of the plans for next season, whatever that means. Uh, he stated that even if he's not uh, picked for injury or whatever other reason, he is still going to be the captain of Newcastle United. Uh, he's going nowhere, according to the manager. So, you know, any inclination that we had of him being sold this summer has been quickly thrown out the window by Eddie Howe. He is not going to be selling Jamal Lascelles and he's going to stay at the club. Uh, I don't think that Lascelles is the right man to captain this football club. Um, I've said it for quite a while now and I know a lot of other fans have said it as well that we don't think he's a captain material. But according to Eddie Howe, he is. And I think, you know, let's be honest, we, we can still, uh, you know, talk about Eddie Howe in a, a negative sense if we feel he's making the wrong decisions. Now, in his heart, he's making the right decision. But I think a lot of Newcastle fans would openly admit that uh, Jamal Lascelles is not the leader. Um, you know, Kieran Trippier, for me, should be captain. Uh, if not Kieran Trippier, then Callum Wilson. Much, much better leaders, much better footballers. Uh, Jamal Lascelles, was terrible against 1860 Munich on Friday. Uh, I know it was only a friendly, but come on, he's been poor for a long, long time now. And, you know, his decision-making was poor. He got booked. Uh, he couldn't lead the line properly. Uh, he was getting outplayed by, you know, let's face it, League One of Germany side. Uh, just not good enough. He's, he's just not good enough, in my opinion. I know a lot of other Newcastle fans feel the same. Uh, if you feel any different and you believe that Jamal Lascelles should be still captain of the club... Stick a comment down below and let me know why and what attributes you think he brings to the captaincy because I don't know anymore. I really don't. Uh, I, you know, he's not going to play many games, many games in the league for certain. You know, you, you look at who's ahead of him. Dan Byrne, Sven Botman, Fabian Scher, they're all ahead of him. And the way Eddie Howe's been talking about Federico Fernandez, uh, he's still in Eddie Howe's plans as well, although I find that a bit ludicrous. Uh, but we'll come on to that in a minute. Um, so, yeah, l let me know. Let me know, because I, I don't quite understand where Eddie Howe's coming from with this. Uh, Lascelles clearly isn't the man uh, to, to lead this football club, in my opinion. And that's the opinion of a lot of people. But, hey, you know, let me know down below if you have the opinion that he should be and why. Um, now, moving on, uh, Darren Eels, of course, has been appointed CEO of Newcastle United. This guy comes with a, an absolutely fantastic pedigree. He really does. Um, he comes from Atlanta United in uh, in the States, in the MLS. Uh, but it's what he's done for that football club uh, that really, really piqued my attention to this guy. And when I was reading up about him, um, you know, he basically brought Atlanta United up from the from nothing. Uh, he built the club up. Uh, he's, he's a fantastic negotiator. Um, he, he negotiated Mercedes-Benz deal to stadium name rights with uh, Atlanta United, of course, which is a 60,000, 70,000-foot uh, capacity stadium, which is remarkable for the MLS. You know, when I've watched those games in Atlanta, the crowd are mental. I mean, the, the atmosphere in that ground is fantastic, which is what everybody needs. You know, especially the MLS. But to build Atlanta like he has, um, it's one of the top 10 attendances in world football. Now, this guy has done it all himself. You know, he's built this club up in the MLS from literally nothing to being in the top 10 of attendances across the world of football. That's some goddamn achievement, that. Uh, especially in the MLS. But like I say, Atlanta United are massively supported. They've got a wonderful stadium. And this guy... Was, was part of it, if not the whole thing of it. 
Uh, he's he's such, what an acquisition for Newcastle United guys. Absolutely unbelievable. And again, it just says what what's going on at the club. You know, getting the staff on the inside right to build it up on the outside. So you know, all these fans that are panicking about, oh, you know, we're not making signings, we're not doing this, we're not doing that. Just chill. Look at the guys we're getting in to build this team. And like me and Dad said at the very start, slow and steady progress, and we'll see where we are in a few years' time. But as usual, a lot of Newcastle fans expecting things to happen overnight. It's not going to. You know, we may not bring anybody else in in the transfer window, but hey, let's just put the trust in these guys, especially with now Dan Ashworth on board, Darren Neal's on board. And, and what I really liked when I was reading about Darren Neal's is he, he listens to the fans. He, he really does listen to the fans. Uh, to his, well, as far as uh, Atlanta United, asking the fans what coffee they wanted and what beers they wanted in the ground. I find that absolutely incredible. Um, but a, a wonderful, wonderful guy to have in uh, as a CEO. And if he's going to listen to the Newcastle United fans as well, you know, at least our voice will be getting heard, even more so than it is already under the new owners. So for me, Darren Neal's absolutely brilliant brilliant acquisition to the football club and I can't wait for him to get started and see what he can bring to the club um, now finally uh, on Fernandez and Manquillo we've been wondering what's been going on with them uh, Fernandez is injured and so is Manquillo Manquillo is currently getting uh, treatment in Spain uh, now a lot of people have said that this could be the end of Manquillo because Emil Kraft is now ahead of him uh, but if we're building a squad guys it may be that you know Eddie wants to keep Manquillo at the club as well uh, and, and have that option because Manquillo can play on both sides. Remember, uh, he certainly didn't do anything last season to say that he was a poor player. You know, he, he came in and he did really well. And I think he's a good squad player. Don't get me wrong. Emil Kraft has moved ahead of him simply because his performances on the back end of last season surprised a lot of people. Uh, but again, the Eddie Howe effect on some certain players. But it was interesting what he had to say on Freddy Fernandez. He said that... Um, He's, he's still a leader. He's still one of the uh, the leaders of the group, one of the core leaders, and, and his experience is vital. Uh, so he was really talking uh, Fernandez up as if to say, well, Feddy's going nowhere. You know, this guy is a massive, massive leader in the dressing room. Uh, and then said he's part of his plans, but I don't quite understand where he's coming from because Feddy never got a look in last season. You know, he came on against Norwich, of course, uh, in that infamous game where Clark was sent off, Joe Linton into midfield, um, and he was never seen again. Now, I thought he performed brilliantly alongside Fabian Scher. He was absolutely fantastic, uh, but never got a look in again. Now, we all thought last season something's going on, something behind the scenes, he said something, or he's certainly not flavour of the month. But every time Eddie Howe talks about Freddy Fernandez, he always bigs him up. Um, so I'm not sure where we go with this. You know, I'm really not sure. You know, does Freddie get an opportunity next season? And if so, does that mean that, you know, for me, he's a better defender than Lascelles as well. So that puts Jamal Lascelles fifth in the pecking order. So to, to make Jamal, Jamal Lascelles captain is, is, is it, well, for me, it's ludicrous, guys. I'll say it now. I don't agree with it. I think it's wrong. Um, but in, in Eddie, we trust. We know that. We, we've just got to see what pans out during the course of the season. Um, and if if any bid did come in for Jamal Lascelles, any sort of decent bid, then I think he's away. I really do. But uh, only time will tell on that, guys. But like I say, let me know down below in the comments what you think of Lascelles being captain. Is it the right decision? Or would you have making that took the decision this summer to change it? Because for me, it needed to be changed. Uh, he's, he's not good enough to be captain for a start. Um, and what about Fernandez? Do you think he's actually going to get a look in next season? Or Eddie Howe's just basically playing everything down and, and waiting for offers to come in for, for certain players like Manquillo and Fernandez. Uh, but I'll be very interested to read your comments, certainly about Lascelles. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, guys, as usual, please give it the thumbs up. It does help YouTube uh, know that something good is happening on this channel. Uh, please do subscribe if you're new and hit that notification bell, which will let you know when we do upload or we go live on the channel. Uh, you can become a member of the Tune Review as well if you hit that join button just underneath the video. And of course, you can still donate to the channel if you wish while we're not on air uh, there's a thanks button just along from the uh, from the like button click that and you can make a donation to the channel that way as well but thank you very much for watching guys enjoy your day stay safe in the heat take care